Hello oh, and welcome back to the park. An indie horror game that is extremely boring, narrative built, and it's probably going to have me criticizing a lot. We are a mother, possibly a single mother, Hansel who... And Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Hmm. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Ah. Callum, where'd you go? I'm sure it's this way, but I'm curious what's over here now that it can fucking run. But as I was saying, so yeah, she, this mother seems to have a lot of issues. Um, maybe I'm being harsh on her, but she's clearly a little bit too pampering of this son, who she weirdly uh, says is she wants to picture him as her brother. Another accident. This place. Oh, okay then. Yeah, another accident. Um, sure. <laughs> Uh, Teddy Bear, you know you're driving 90 miles per hour and you, uh, you hit a deer. The deer's head's gonna move, isn't it? Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. Uh, the governor is booked to cut the ribbon so they can... The only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. Customers come out of simple curiosity. Uh, need was from the band writings of Archie Henderson? You said I know this will be... Uh, Teddy Bear, can I, can I, can I have that knife? It doesn't look like it's fully textured properly. Like, I can see, like, these brown squares on it, but... Sure, yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, okay, um... The kid's Hello. over here, so... I hear bless you. Oh, the, the kid's over here. Is he? What? Is am I like really opening in this? Stay where you are. This way, mommy. Yes, rocks just naturally drop from a normal rock. That's that's normal. Um. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Catch me, mommy. Catch me, mommy. Really. I'm, I'm going back to the narrative of wanting to spank the shit out of this kid. But, alas, we're likely not going to do that. Alright, well, let's go to the... This ride, I, I don't know what it's called, the... Octo... 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 Octotron? Octotron. thing used to make the blood run to my head. Make me dizzy. The guy just... Snapped. Those poor kids. She has issues. Uh, I'm not gonna read this, so if any of you want to, pause the video. I'm continuing on. It'll probably give me insight on what's going on and why, but... This is why I don't play narrative games, so I don't know why I'm playing this. I was hoping that the horror aspects would make it worthwhile, basically. Why would I want to ride a... Uh, decrease speed. Yes. If it hurts this woman so much, then I shouldn't ride it, but I'm still going to. Oh, okay. Stop it, then. And... And again. And again. And, and, and again. Alright, let's, let's get on. Why not? I don't know why I am, if it's part of the story. This woman doesn't like it and it gets to her head. But I'm going on it anyways. Apparently. Whee! I think I'm supposed to be looking for my son, but I'm gonna just enjoy the ride while I can. I'm, I'm waiting for something like awesome and horrifying to happen. Like it speeds up and gets out of control, and then it flings me across the map. But it was all just an illusion. I'm waiting for that to happen, honestly. Alright. Hello! 
Hi again. You trying to be Scarecrow from Batman or something? I have no idea, but uh Yeah, I don't I don't know. Are you saying I, I rode this ride just for the, the cheap thrill of seeing an illusion, a giant top hat wearing gremlin guy? That wasn't worth it. I'm a harsh critic. It's like how you make movies is every action, every scene has to have a point to it. If there's no point to it, don't include it. Where are you? He he's apparently right here, or no? Oh, I remember this. Just a photo of us, you know, just laying around in the fucking park, clearly not left off by a, a stalker who loves my tight, tight, high up pants. And my spoiled little shit son that I pretend is my brother. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. No, I'm not into that. Or, or... First time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real. So there, and so far from my expectations. What? They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. That you, you don't give a shit? Wait, wait, I'm trying to figure this out. She gave birth to her son, unless he's adopted. And just, just picture her, you're, you're a mother, you you gave birth to your son, and the doctor gives it to you, and you're holding your arms. And your mother's like, "That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like that's that has to be one of the worst things you can say to a child. It's just like you give birth to it. It's just this red thing, apparently. The fuck is this thing? Callum, come back here right now. Oh, now she's showing some stern, and he's whispering as Callum, a response. Where did you go? I fucking hate this kid. Um, so yeah, the mother just like looks at the baby and she's like, "That's it. It's just the red thing." Uh, so disappointed. So anticlimactic. I gave birth to this red thing. Ooh, bumper cars. And crashes in '80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. In a wrench. Uh, please let me get on it. I love bumper cars. If I go to any part, it would bumper cars just fuck yeah. Uh, apparently, I'm gonna get on this one. Can I play with a bunch of ghosts? Uh, I I love bumper cars, and this is like would be the one of the biggest bumper car stadiums I have seen. Most of the ones I go to or have, have ever in my childhood are all tiny, like this tiny, tiny little room with barely any space. You need to have enough space to uh, to get momentum. So when you smash into the back of someone or the side, that they, they really fucking you know tumble around everywhere. Um, Francis Dufresne, job title, supervisors, witness, accident, report, injured, yes, truck driver, claims to have seen someone, double checking, uh, done, done. Can I move? Okay, what was the point of that? More shit happening that is, uh... I, I, that I question is what the point, but I'm guessing it's to go up here. It's guiding me! And my glasses keep slipping off my nose. Alright. The point of this, at the very least, was to guide me up here, but the point of the this going berserk... I have no idea. I, I don't think they're programmed to do that. So... No, I, maybe it's I'm just a being. Public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Ugh. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Dying. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word, just the scratch, scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me. 
Our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Yeah! She's a strong, independent woman. She's fighting the patriarchy. Fuck you, police officer. How dare you tell me that I need help? You're just a fucking shitlord, patriarchal, misogynist pig, aren't you? How dare you at tell this woman she needs help? Mommy is coming, Callum. She needs help. Uh, added uh, social justice. Added. Uh, Where are you, Callum? Shut up. I uh, don't care. I, I just added a little plot twist of uh, social justice warrior problems into this whole thing. But yeah, she need, she needs definite help. I don't really want to get on this ride. Where's the baby Callum? screaming? Callum! Over there. Ah, well, getting close to the ride and riding it for gimmick's sake. I don't know. Wait. Are you? Whoa, it's a squirrel. Don't enlarge it like that. I can't get on while it's moving. Why am I wanting to get on it? Don't be afraid. Who am I talking to? Where's the baby? Is it on the Ferris wheel? Stay where you are. I don't know where the noise Is it from up here or is it over there? Oh, let's get in for whatever reason. I, I don't know. Let's get on the Ferris wheel. Cuz this will solve problems. Oh, Hey, it's you again. Uh, thank you for operating it for me, buddy. I appreciate it. I couldn't do it without you. Um, but yeah, she has issues. And the kid's a little shit, though. Um, apparently she gets offended that she needs help. Um, I absolutely have no interest in these characters. They sound really annoying. I'm trying to figure what the point of me playing this is, honestly. I don't want to... People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. <laughs> After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. Until you went batshit crazy? I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. Oh, yeah. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Wait. I, maybe I misheard or anything, or I'm just confusing things. You can leave in the comments below if I'm just completely wrong, but didn't she say she's a single mother because she fucking ran away from her relationship i swear it started off with her saying that don was drinking and she got tired of his shit because he got tired of her shit or something and she ran away and now it's, she's saying that he died in at work isn't there a contradiction there or am i just forgetting things and mismatching Messages. I, I I don't know. It's just, I swear, there's contradicting words there, but probably just me. I don't think they'd make a game with a storyline that made no sense. But yeah, it's just, I swear it was like she said that she ran away from her relationship, but there was no relationship. He, he apparently died at work, so it's just like, which one is it? Did did this husband of hers die? That. She apparently made a baby after, like, meeting in the bar, and she kissed him, and then... Stay where you are! 
I don't know, there's just... Take... Oh, okay. I don't know. So, someone just, like, correct me on this, though. I mean, I, I'm genuinely confused. I, I probably just misheard a bunch of things, and I don't know what to cho what to, um, what to choose. For me, it just it sounded weirdly random. Like, oh, yeah, I'm a single mother. I ran away from the relationship because it wasn't working out or because I'm batshit crazy. And then, oh, well, no, he died at work, so I'm now a single mother. And uh, I don't know.